Live at five. A retired couple says the movers they hired, well, they gave them one price, then they suddenly doubled it. Yeah, Atlanta News First consumer investigator Better Call Harry is live at five at the moving company's registered address, making sure that this type of thing doesn't happen to you all at home. Harry, what is going on? Well, that's what we want to know. I can tell you this, that this office suite in Dorville is the DOT registered address for precise moving and storage. But when we went here, we found another moving company and they just happened to know the owner. And they put us in touch with the owner. So here's the whole thing about this and what got our attention is that when they did the estimate, they did it through emails and a phone call. I loved it for a while, but it's good to be back in civilization. Judy McMillan had a great excuse for selling the family farm outside Nashville, Tennessee. She and her husband James picked a lovely 55 and up community in Houston, Georgia. Moved because I didn't want to cut grass, didn't want to paint, didn't want to climb up under the house, didn't want to do none of that stuff no more. And they didn't want to move a lot of stuff. In hindsight, they could have gotten a U-Haul. The chair, the sofa, the lamp. The TV was one of the larger items. The only thing we brought in here was the bed. Plus some stuff in the office and James's glorious recliner. Yeah, it's the heaviest thing they had to move. Then we brought this table and chairs. The moving estimate was $2,150 for 521 cubic feet. But guess what happened when the movers arrived? The price doubled to $4,300. He walked from room to room and he started adding things. Here's what the head moving guy literally scribbled down. It's hard to read. However, he recalculated an additional 229 cubic square feet. That plus packing and other fees doubled the total to 4,300. I, I don't even know what that is. I don't either. Like a lot of customers in this situation, the McMillan said they had no choice. Our house had done sold. Our house was ready to be moved. We had to get out. The name of the company is Precise Moving and Storage. The address listed on its website is the owner's rental property in Alpharetta. Precise Moving and Storage has another address registered with the Federal Motor Carrier and Safety Administration. So we went there and found a completely different moving company. Hey, is this Precise Moving and Storage? No. It's not? That's no. weird. Did you move this fridge? No. Let's go back to the original estimate because the sales guy never actually saw anything. The McMillans emailed a list of items and talked on the phone. Here's the call. What, what we did with the box is we came up with a number of about 15. So I put them in a couple different sizes. I made sure there was five medium, five large, five china. Okay, one office chair. Yes. Two recliners, yes. A manager for Precise Moving and Storage says the McMillans yeah. made the error and that they had over 100 boxes. But when we asked the manager to come to the McMillans and see for himself, he refused. The move itself was fine, and the McMillans were the only things that ended up broke. After all of this, they asked for a tip? Yes. They did? Yes. Yeah. Both times? Just plain and simple. How about a tip? And what'd you say? We gave it to them. Yeah. They made me a little nervous. Right, so we did have a nice conversation today with the owner of Precise Moving and Storage who says he may be willing to reevaluate this move. But here's the thing. If you're looking for a moving company, I like to see a physical location. I go on Google Maps. I go to Street View. I want to see a logo on the building. I want to see trucks in the parking lot. And that's not enough. I want you to Google uh, DOT plus Protect My Move. DOT, like Department of Transportation, Protect My Move. It'll take you to a federal site that will tell you everything that you need to know, and we will put a link on our website, too. Guys, back to you. And a lot of good uh, advice there, Harry. Interesting stuff as well. Once you find a good mover, you got to stick with them. Harry, thank you.